Hello, I'm Susan Even, Chair of the American College Health Association's Vaccine Preventable Disease Advisory Committee and Executive Director and Physician at the University of Missouri Student Health Center. As students return to college campuses, they face an increased risk of meningococcal disease. Many college campuses follow CDC's recommendation to require vaccine against meningococcal disease, which protects against four meningococcal strains. Unfortunately, in the past few years, Cero B, a strain not protected against by the vaccine, has emerged as a cause of meningococcal outbreaks, as such as those occurring at Princeton and University of California, Santa Barbara. I want to share some new information about CDC's interim guidance for control of serogroup meningococcal disease outbreaks. While nearly all the cases of meningococcal disease are sporadic, approximately two of 100 cases occur as part of an outbreak. Outbreaks are unpredictable and can be emotionally devastating to a college or university community. An outbreak occurs when there are multiple cases of the same serogroup or strain over a short period of time. Sometimes just two cases in a school or college can meet the outbreak definition. Typically, state and local health departments lead outbreak investigations and implement measures to reduce disease spread. Since Cero B meningococcal is not part of meningococcal vaccine available in the U.S., the CDC has worked with the FDA through their Expanded Access Program for Investigational New Product, or IND, to use a MenB vaccine used in Europe as part of outbreak response for the Princeton and UC Santa Barbara campuses. This required a lengthy and very complicated process. CDC's new interim guidance for evaluation and response to Cero B outbreaks is designed to, number one, help decision makers decide the need for vaccination, two, clarify the process for using a MenB vaccine under expanded access IND, and three, improve the timeliness of implementation of a vaccine campaign. The FDA has recently granted two pharmaceutical companies breakthrough therapy designation for their products which can expedite the application for licensure process. Once a MenB vaccine is licensed and available in the U.S., CDC guidelines for control of all meningococcal outbreaks will be updated. The new interim guidance divides institutions by size, fewer than 5,000 persons and 5,000 persons or more. For institutions with fewer than 5,000 students, an outbreak is defined as two or more serial group B cases within six months. The guidance lists steps to take when the first case of MinB disease is identified, and then once a second case is identified by molecular typing, campus, local, and state officials consult with CDC to consider implementation of an immunization campaign under the expanded access IND. For institutions of 5,000 or more students, an outbreak consultation begins when the third MinB strain in six months is identified. Detailed recommendations can be found online on the CDC's website. While it's unlikely that your campus will experience a meningococcal outbreak, it is important to be prepared and continue CDC's recommended prevention and control measures. These include supporting your campus meningococcal vaccine requirement or, if none exist, taking steps to initiate one. And two, if a case occurs, making sure all close contacts of the infected student receive antibiotics to prevent them from getting the disease, known as prophylaxis. Close contacts include people in the same household, roommates, or anyone with direct contact with the patient's saliva, such as boyfriend or girlfriend. Always contact your local and state health officials for their specific recommendations. Following these guidelines will help you maintain a safe and healthy learning environment for students on your campus.